And <laughs> uh, now, I'm a cinema morning, 2024, with Mark Green. This is the greatest thing that ever happened to me in my lifetime. A special day for Tommy Lasorda. Good morning. Mike Breen with Sports, Baseball's Hall of Fame, inducting four new members yesterday in Cooperstown, including the former Dodger manager who, in his 20 years at the helm, led the Dodgers to a pair of World Series championships. Also inducted Phil Necro, Nellie Fox, who later had a great career as the host of Wonderama, that kid's show, and Willie Wells, the former Negro League star, four new members, and we congratulate them on a wonderful, wonderful day. And I've just learned that we're on in Syracuse, New York this morning on uh, Sports Radio 620 WHAN. So yeah. part of the Cox Radio Group, which is a great radio company. And mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, Joel Delmonico is the general manager and the operations manager is Ken Charles. And he said Cox. <laughs> yes, I did say. I did say Cox. Yeah. Yes, he did. So we're pretty happy about all that, Mike. So we should we be reporting Syracuse Orangeman stories? Absolutely. And the Jaguars that they fact, uh, Syracuse is part of the kickoff classic at Giant Stadium in the Meadowlands, so I'll be taking on Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. baseball last night. Dodgers <laughs> losing 12. <laughs> Cubs beat them 4-3 on Sammy Sosa's 12th inning two-run homer. Dodgers now a game back of the Giants in the National League West. The other night game was Texas topping Cleveland 8-7. Indians lead over the Brewers remains three and a half games. Please get on. All right, fine. We'll sign off. And that's sports. I'm Mike Breen. <laughs> well, I miss in the morning. And now, I miss in the morning 2020 sports with Mark Breen. Go, baby. There's a drive to left field. I don't know. Could be. That ball is out of here. Cubs win it. Four to three. Oh, doctor. A damaging defeat denies the demoralized Dodgers. Good morning. Mike Breen with sports. Jerry Coleman, the call of the Cubs' 12th inning win over the Dodgers at Wrigley Field last night. Sammy Sosa's home run ending the game, and the Dodgers fall a game back of the Giants. But it wasn't a lost day for the Dodger organization as Tommy Lasorda was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Lasorda gave a very emotional speech and began to cry when he thanked someone very special to him. He was my mentor. I love him very, very much. I only wish he could be here. My heart goes out to him. I know he's here in spirit. There's none other than the great Al Goldstein. Lasorda referring to Al Goldstein, <laughs> the publisher of Screw Magazine, who played with Lasorda in the minors. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You can't let that pass, I man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> what I the man. hell is wrong with you? It's Goldstein amazing. could not attend this ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> but at his home in New York City, he remembered his old friend. I love Tommy. I've been on the road with him. I, I've been in the locker room with him. I've been in the shower with him. He is the most amazing breast set of any man I've ever seen. I'm serious. Two old minor league friends on a very special day. God, if you're just the dumbest bastard on the planet, you know that? Also inducted into all this. God almighty. You have no credibility. It's amazing you picked up on it. Half <laughs> <laughs> the time he does stuff like that, you don't even realize. <laughs> well, I've got a lot of things on my mind. <laughs> Play it again, I'm here. He was my mentor. I love him very, very much. I only wish he could be here. My heart goes out to him. I know he's here in spirit. There's none other than the great Al Goldstein. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, also inducted with, uh, <laughs> with the sort of was Phil Necro, who made his own emotional statement. This is America. America's baseball. Maybe 10, 20 yeah. years ago. It's not baseball anymore, that's no, for sure. Not. About the time we had a Negro in the Hall of Fame. <coughs> not a, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? saying? Just shut up. No, no, what are you saying? <laughs> what, ahead, do you <laughs> what do you mean, Bernard? I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and in baseball, also yesterday, Mets lose to the Astros in Houston. The game ended when Greg McMichael, the Mets reliever, hit a batsman with the bases loaded. Meanwhile, manager Bobby Valentine took the loss well. Two good teams, and uh, one of them had a win. He knows his baseball. That looks like he could be a jerk, by the way. Has that yeah. potential? I saw him with an interview with, uh, who's the kid on Channel 7? He's a great sportscaster. Yeah. Scott, uh, Stevens. No, well, Scott. Mark Stevens. Mark Stevens. Was it? Mark, Mark Stevens. Mark Stevens. He's great. And he's just, and this is the nicest kid. Mm -hmm. Terrific sports guy. And uh, you could just see Valentine had a kind of an attitude. Really? Him, which, yeah. I, which I, <laughs> so. by the way, the local news in New York, Channel 7 is the only one I can even possibly tolerate. Oh. <clears throat> 
because uh, Diana Williams is great. She's this woman who does it. She's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Roz Abrams is uh, very good. Good looking, too. Bill uh, Brimsby is terrific. Bill Butel is terrific. Yep. I know these are names y'all don't. Texas Ed Lawrence. He's getting it done. Texas mm -hmm. is great with the weather. Mm -hmm. Man. Lay back and enjoy it, baby. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> special happy birthday today to a special athlete and a special man. Who's that? Patrick Ewing oh, turns 35 good. today. The future Hall of Famer Nick Center was asked, how does it feel to be 35? Uh, I'm so tired right now. <laughs> Ewing says <laughs> he's enjoying his offseason and looking forward to leading the Knicks to a championship in the 97-98. Yeah, that's going to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Baseball, Mets beat the Cardinals at a rain-soaked Shea. Marlins win, so the Mets stay two back of the wild card. Dodgers were off. Giants won, so L.A. a game and a half back of San Francisco in the National League West. Joe Torre's Yankees won. They beat the Royals 5-4 to four in Kansas City. Yanks were leading 5 nothing going into the ninth. Royal scored four times to make it interesting, but Torrey said he knew all along they'd win. I'm glad I was right. I'm not always right. No, he's not. No, but he was but right last night. I like night. the eye, man. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Yankees, man. five and a half back of the Orioles, oh, who did not play last night. That's sports. I'm Mike Breen.